So here we go back into the Lochy Miley, as you can see from here. This is the field that's next there. Now, yesterday I was here and something happened to my camera. I was only able to get 15 minutes of it. So I never showed you in its entirety. So how and how are we coming in from the other end now? Next to all these things, you wouldn't even guess that there's a jewel here. And this is the jewel, and there's an the access ramp for wheelchairs and infirm people. And here's the steps for us. So, then I walk along, walk along towards Cobden Street at the other end of the Lockheed Miley, the Ald Railway. I think it was closed down in 1957 or 67, Comfrey. And I really like gates. This is time. There's time. Not the herb. The moment. Critigus Morigina. This is really spectacular. I'm really chuffed about it actually. I'm chuffed that I was in the beginning. I was part of this start of this. And for an embryo, it's grew and uh, well, it's matured well, very well. Uh, sorry, Stan, of you. That was the guy I met yesterday, Stan, and his dog. Uh, have you tuned into my station and never seen his cell or heard his name? But yeah, and however, Stan, something happened. So I'm back here today, this morning, to have another look at a pleasant place. As you well know, as you walk here all the time, mere anvils for thrushes, but there's no sign of thrush activity. But, still, this is an amazing walk. This touch you all off you that thing that surrounds it, industry. The industry that surrounds us is amazing. There's everything here. Piping, I don't care what that's for. Oil rigs or something, wellheads or whatever. A lovely sweet Sicily smell here. Ah, I can smell it. Can't even see it, but I can smell it. An aniseed smell. And just even walking here, it's amazing. Just gives you that breath. It's like hearing a, a, a pick me up pill for your doctor. This is a pick-me-up pill for me. And I suppose loads of other people. Cherries, look. Plenty of cherries as well. I think that's the bitterings. Prunus padus or bird cherry. But still, there's other fruits here. As I say, the strawberry, Frigaria vesca. Uh, the bramble, Rubus fruticosus and the raspberry and also there's elderberry raspberry is rubus uh, I can't mind what the second name is but anyway the brambleberry is rubus fruticosus plenty of sticky woolies gallium operine ah there's that old gate Passed that yesterday, took a picture of it. As you can see, that's been into some farmer's field eons ago when the railway was here. They've left it, which is nice. I think about this is up here. There's a gate with a padlock on it. Oh, it must be a dog training place. Yeah, that's what I think it is. A dog training place or for wee motorbikes or something, something like that. Somebody's buggy pants there. <laughs> a birch, silver birch, betula pendula, or betula pubescens, I'm not sure. And there's a betula pendula there. Silver birch. Sycamore, thanks to the railways that got about. 
He's a pseudo partners. Yeah. This is a brilliant walk. I, I'm so enamoured. I am really enamoured at how good this is and how it's been kept. It's been kept well. So I think I either must be a group that does this, uh, a sort of community group, or the rangers, because I guarantee you it's no council. Because council wouldn't hate as beautiful as this. They wouldn't give us stuff about it. Oh, they'll talk the accolades for it. They'll go in the pictures and that, and talk the accolades for it and half other people. And how should these cunts be in the 40s? Columba Palumba there, wood pigeon. How should they be in the 40s, like I say? It's not them that broke their backs, didn't it? Mechanobicuses, Cambrica, or Welsh poppy there, the yellow. Oh yeah, there's plenty, plenty of life around here. Plenty of wildlife. It goes right back to the fence there. There's a fence that goes right back there. So there's a wide expanse upon this path. Probably goes about five metres back in each direction. Sometimes it goes wider. But this is certainly amazing. Good quality air here as well. Good quality air. Oh, we ran, is it? I can't even see him, eh? Troglodyte, troglodyte, cave dweller. This is amazing, people. Come and enjoy it. But like I say, when you come here, you got any litter, tuck it away with you. And, because litter just spoils it. And it's kept well. It's kept well. <laughs> it goes right back, look. It goes right back, away back here. So, through this path you could see quite a few things. <coughs> but you didn't want to encroach upon anything. I'm sure this is a garden escapee. I haven't however. It's diversity as long as it's sort of kept to a minimum. This is amazing. Here are the wing beats of the wood pigeon there. <laughs> Can't stress how much beautiful this is and how well kept it's been. This is what you call management. This is what you call management. Hey, Mr. Blackbird, third this paddis. Yep. I love it, man. Wild garlic here, yeah, Ramsons. Some garlic for your tea. There was plenty of wildlife here. I could hear it. Uh, you could hear it if I shot up. <laughs> Just letting you hear nature there. There's a couple of blackbirds there. Hear the wood pigeon. Plenty of songsters singing for the day. Oh, he used to. Stop fighting. Hey, blackbirds. Two male blackbirds. They're fighting over something. Oh, and there's Fregaria Vesca. Wild strawberry. Now, I don't expect huge strawberries off them. Because they're probably a bit says, oh, well, my pinky nail's too big, but probably says, oh, a woman's pinky nail. And it looks good. Diversity here is good. Regeneration there. With trees and shrubs, which is a good sign. Bracken, the Bracken, uh, 
ancient font. I missed a buck, but Solomon seal. That's bony though. Know. Probably can eat them. Yeah. This is really amazing, like, I think the people that don't care about this might be on their doorstep. Man. Maybe watch YouTube and say, oh, there's a nice wee walk. There is, there's a lot of nature about, and especially here, bandit garden snails. I've seen them, um, which is good for the thrush if he ever appears here. You'll hear an amazing. Now look at this, some of the structure of the trees. It's I know amazing. Man. Just so peaceful and beautiful here. This is what we need. Oh, -ho, there's the dev bombers, the heavy duty dev bombers. Columba, bum, lumba. At Columba Palumba, the wood pigeon. <laughs> Up in the big sycamore. This is what you call protect it. People will enjoy this for, I can, decades. Corvidia, Corvus Corvidia, the crow. Very intelligent. Just as intelligent as a parrot, I think, and they keep uh, lifespan of 35 year. What are you saying? He's arguing with us there. What? What age are you? <laughs> He's no one to answer that. Must be a female crow. <laughs> I'm only kidding. There's your rubus ruticosus sprouting up there. This is amazing, the bird cherry. I'm so glad I was keeping this up, that they are keeping it up, because it's amazing. It's amazing to see. It really is. A nice big cherry. Two big cherries. And an opening. I'm trying to be quiet so you get the benefit of the nature. This is early morning, you can hear everybody waking in up. Or I'm disturbing them. I don't think they like being disturbed. No by man anyway. It's just a pleasant walk. Nice and serene. Nice and fresh. Smell that fresh air, it's lovely. And you get all the odours of the plants, sweet smelling plants like the sweet angelica and aniseed uh, sort of smell. Lovely. That's a huge acer there. Multi-stemmed as well. And this, this goes up to uh, uh, the Marchbanks Depot Road. Let me just go up and let you see where this is. I'm not going to go right this way. I'm going to come back down. Because I don't want to encroach on any sort of council directive that says if they see me, they've sent a memo around to other places, if they see me, kissing gate, if they see me, to phone the police. Look, ooh, there was a council employee there, I could have maybe got into trouble.